Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Problem nine point seven. So the statement is that for the beam and loading shown, determine the equation of elastic curve for portion AB of the beam. And part B is to find the slope at point A, and part C is the slope at point B. So what we have to find is the first one. Y is a function of x, which is the equation of elastic curve for part for portion AB of the beam. In part B, we have been asked to find the slope at point A, and in part C, it is given to find the slope at point B. So let's start with the solution. So for solving this solution, the first step would be to find the unknown reaction forces that is R A and R B of the beam. So we will first draw the free body diagram of this beam. Which will be like this one. So let this is R A reaction at R A. This is R B. Clear. This is distance L by L, and from this to this distance is L by two. This is point C. This is point B. And this is point A. Now there is a uniformly distributed load between A and B, so we will convert this distributed load into concentrated load. So it will be W into L, and it will be acting at the half of L. So this is will be W into L, and it will be at a distance of L by two. Similarly, this load is two L two W. It will be two W into L. And it will be again acting downward, and this load will be equal to two W into L by two. Clear? Okay. So this two L by two. Uh, sorry, it should be acting two L. It will be acting at mid of this. So it will be two W into L by two, not two W by L by two. So it will be two W into total length L by two. So this load will be equal to also W into L. So we will apply the equilibrium conditions that sum of all forces in a y direction is equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So you can see R A is upward plus R B is also upward. That is equal to Uh, w L plus W L, which is equal to two W L. Clear? Now we will apply the moment equation that sum of all moment about point B is equal to zero. So you can see at this is at point B. Clear? So one force is R A, which is producing a uh, Clockwise, so it will be minus R E into perpendicular distance is L. Here the second force is minus W L, and it is producing clockwise, so it will be W into L, and the perpendicular distance is L by two because this distance is L by two. Here the next force is W L, which is producing clockwise, so it will be minus W L. Into perpendicular distance will be this one, so this is L by two, so it will be L by four. Clear? So L by four is equal to zero. So when you calculate it, so R A will comes out to be one over four W into L. Clear? Now you have this R E. You can put it in this equation to calculate R B as well. There, so kindly do it by yourself. Now we will move toward finding the equation of uh, 
elastic curve for portion a b so again we will consider this portion a b and we will cut any section between a b let this section is at a distance of x from point a so i will draw it over here so this is R A layer. Here is a uniformly distributed load acting. That is W, and this distance is X. So if you cut the section at this, so there will be a shear force V, and there is reaction moment at this, and that this point is J. So we will we will find the equation of movement for this portion A B because we know that for finding the equation of elastic curve we, we will use this equation d square y or dx square is equal to mx. So we will need this movement of this beam. So apply the bond the the equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point J must be equal to zero. So you can see that at point J there is a moment which is counterclockwise. So it will be plus. Now due to this distributed load, when you will convert it to point load, it will be minus W into X as it is acting downward. So it will also produce clock counterclockwise. So it will be positive. So point load will be acting at half of length. It will be x by 2. Clear? And due to this reaction force, there will be a clockwise moment. So R A into x. Their sum must be equal to 0. So moment, so you have R A value 1 over 4 W L. So you will put it and when you calculate it, this M value comes out to be 1 over 4 W L x minus 1 over 2 w x square so this is the bending moment equation for portion a b so we will put this equation in this e is equal to e i into d square y over dx is equal to m of x so when you will put it so it will be equal to e i into d square y over dx square will be equal to 1 over 4 wlx minus 1 over 2 wx square so when you integrate it once it will be equal to ei into dy by dx is equal to 1 over 8 wlx square minus 1 over 6 wx cube plus u1 now this is unknown constant and that can be found by using the boundary condition so we will apply the boundary condition at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 clear uh, sorry, not this. We will apply it later. Clear? Now, uh, give it a, over here. Again, integrate this equation. Again, integrate it. When you integrate this equation, it will be equal to EI into Y is equal to 1 over 24 WLX cube minus 1 over 24 WL WX square. Sorry, 1 over 24 WLX cube WX 4 plus C1X plus C2. There now you can see this is the equation of for finding the deflection and this is equation for finding slope but here there is c1 and there is c1 and c2 which are unknown and can be found by using boundary condition 
So if you go back to the beam, you can see that you can apply the boundary condition that at x is equal to 0. At x is equal to 0. We have y is equal to 0. And at here, at x is equal to L, y is again 0. So we will use this boundary condition in order to find the slope and deflection. So one we have at x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. And the second boundary condition is that at x is equal to L, y is equal to 0. So we will put this in this equation because this is for deflection. So at x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. So this y will 0, this x, this x, this x will be 0. It means C2 is equal to 0. And if you put this equation at x is equal to L, y is equal to 0. So this y will be equal to 0 is equal to 1 over 24. W L this is will be L cube minus 1 over 24 W L 4 plus C1 was 0 so it will be 0 plus no C1 uh, plus C2 C2 is 0 plus C1 into L so again this will be L4 so this term will be cancelled with this one so C1 will be also equal to 0 now you can put C1 and C2 in this equation. So you will get EI into Y is equal to 1 over 24 WL X cube minus 1 over 24 WX 4. Clear? And again when you divide EI on both sides so you will get Y is equal to W over 24 EI into LX cube minus X4 which is is required equation of elastic curve for portion A and B for portion A B so this was our first part now we will move toward the first part in the first in the second part it was given that you have to find the deflection sorry slope slope at point A clear so where is the equation of slope? This is the equation of slope if you put C1 is equal to 0. There. So slope at x is equal to 0 because point A is at x is equal to 0. So when you put x is equal to 0, so dyb, when you put this in this equation, equation of slope. So x is equal to 0, so this term will be 0, this term will be 0, and this ei into d theta, I will write ei into d theta, sorry, not d theta, ei into theta, this will be equal to theta a, will be equal to x0, this will be 0, so this will be 0, is 0. so it means that slope at point A is also equal to 0. Now we will move toward the third part which is slope at point B. Now slope at point B is at a distance of L. I will show you point B is at a distance of L. Clear? So we will put x is equal to L. And when you put this x is equal to L in again the same equation this we will get EI 
into dy by dx which is actually theta equal to 1 over 8 wl into l square minus 1 over 6 w l q clear and if you further simplify it it will be equal to dy by dx will be equal to theta is equal to 1 over 8 vi into w l q minus 1 over 6 e i w l q so further this will be equal to theta v so theta at point b will be equal to minus w l q over 24 e i now this minus show that at point b the slope is clockwise clear so this was all about problem 9.7 i hope you have learned this problem that how to solve such type of problems and if you like my videos kindly subscribe my channel as well as share it with your friends thank you